Hello, hello. In this lesson, we're going to walk through effective coaching methods if you're delivering your genius zone in a group environment. So this is usually in stage three of the evolution of your offer, that do-it-yourself stage, right? When it comes to group coaching, these are the top areas that I want you to cover off on. First being clear communication. And what I mean by this is sending out a reminder email prior to any live calls. Or if your offer is a one-time offer, say maybe it's six weeks, I would recommend sending out a weekly email, getting them excited about what they'll be covering in the training, as well as a reminder to register for the live call happening that week. If you're using Zoom, like we do, then I also want you to ensure that you have reminder emails for anybody that registers turned on, right? So that way the members will receive a reminder a few hours before and maybe 24 hours before a call. It will help ensure your clients show up for those sessions, right? Now, trust the best. So what I mean by this is use the tools that work when it comes to fulfilling your group coaching offer, especially the coaching aspect. So I definitely recommend using Zoom for your calls, okay? Next up, we've got make it pretty. And what I mean by this is setting up a nice little scene for your coaching calls. It doesn't have to be expensive or take a lot of time to set up. You just ideally want a nice clean background that's pleasant to look at, but it's not too busy or messy as that can become a distraction from all the goodness that you're about to deliver. If you wanna use a virtual one, like the ones that Zoom provides, just make sure that your camera is good enough so it doesn't cut you out every time that you move, right? Have you ever seen those ones where as soon as your arm moves, you're fully out of the shot? So we don't want that happening. A plain white wall is better than those sometimes. So again, depending on your camera and internet. And as a side note, I actually like to stand up during group coaching calls as well, as I often find that I naturally am a bit more engaging and bring more energy and enthusiasm, right? So it's more engaging for your clients. So if you have a desk that allows, or even a couple of boxes and a laptop, then you can make a makeshift standing desk. Now. There are also three must do's that I wanna walk through when it comes to jumping into a coaching call session, especially a group coaching call. I'd have these written down, maybe on a post-it by your computer, okay? So number one, close all tabs. So we want your internet speed to be as quick as possible and it helps also reduce any distractions for you. Number two, be on time, always, non-negotiable. Don't be late for your call. So if you know you're somebody that runs, that runs a little bit late, make sure that you're there five minutes ahead of time. Number three is to make sure you record it, okay? So I know Zoom has the option to automatically record sessions, so make sure that's turned on and then you don't even have to think about it. Now lastly, you want to set the scene when you first jump into your coaching call and run through the boundaries and housekeeping and expectations. I'll give you an example of what this looks like for you in just a minute, but the key things that I want you to cover off on is A, letting them know that you are gonna set some expectations and housekeeping before you get straight into it, B, you're gonna outline how these calls work and how they're gonna ask questions. I also want you to address how you're going to answer the questions and how you're gonna to teach to the room. And the last one is time limit. So let them know how long the call is. So an example like this might look kind of like this. If you're joining me in a coaching call, it'd sound like this. Come on in ladies, come on in, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you joining me inside today's coaching call. So before we get started, I wanna cover off on a bit of housekeeping and expectations to ensure you get the most out of our time together today. So you'll notice we do have a Q&A box and a chat box. I want you to post your questions and generally your most pressing questions. So try to stick to one question to begin with so we can get to everybody. Pop that one in the Q&A box. The chat is here so that you can engage with me ongoing, but just make sure any questions go in the Q&A box so I don't miss them, okay? And when I answer any questions, I do answer them in order, so the order that they come through, and any pre-submitted ones I usually do at the end of our session today. I will try to answer them to the room. So even if you don't have any questions just yet, there's probably tons of goodness that you're gonna receive just from other people's questions, right? So try to stay tuned in if you can. And lastly, we have two hours together. So I don't wanna waste any more time. If you've got any questions regarding how the call works, pop them in the chat, but any specific strategic questions that I can help you with today, be sure to pop them into the Q&A and we will get started. Now, as everybody's getting their questions in, let me know if this is your first call. Is this your first week inside the program? Let me know in the chat box. And otherwise, let me know if it's maybe your second or third call and where you're calling in from. So that is it. That is how you can set the scene. And you'll notice how to kick off engagement, right? I like to ask who's on their first call and tell me where they're calling in from. 
Can you see how important of having some of this simple yet powerful structure setup is, how efficient and effective our group coaching calls can be? And it's not that hard to implement, right? But it will make your life and your coaching so much more enjoyable for both you and your clients. So it's a win-win. That's all for now, lovely. Go ahead and jot down any other ideas on how you're gonna implement these five steps into your do-it-yourself group coaching offer, and we will see you in the next lesson soon.